game time for the untouchable true school sports. Let's go, baby. Bow. Be careful what you wish for because because it can become a reality. Yeah. And do you, do you feel like uh, you being a Puerto Rican who's affiliated with Canelo, like, do you feel like you're, in a sense, maybe like, you kind of like have the best of both worlds, you could be like a promoter's dream type thing? Yeah, yeah, uh, being with Canelo, this is an honor, man, you know, just to see him, and the main thing that he told me is, you know, be disciplined, dedication, and do everything with balls. Is that, is that what he told you? Those, those were his exact words, do everything with balls? <laughs> Okay, okay. Some good advice. Yeah, man. Yeah. Only advice. What, what, yeah, what do, what do you feel has made him uh, stay at, the, at this high level for so long, Canelo? Uh, I believe his uh, dedication to the sport, his discipline to the sport, always being disciplined, and uh, the love that he has for it. You yeah, can see it. Because you know? to make millions and millions and millions, like, how do you still get up and train? You know? The love for it. You can tell. So that's what I believe. Okay, Jonathan. Well, uh, I don't want to hold you up because I know you got things to go do and run around. But, uh, Are you good? You good? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, uh, what do you think about the, the Canelo Berlanga fight? Like, Man, Canelo, Canelo, like you said, knock out in the eight round. That's what I think. Eighth? Eight round, like you said. Yeah. Too, too experienced, you think? Uh, it's just levels to this, man. It's levels to it, and uh, Canelo is at the highest level right now. Okay. Eddie Reynolds said you'll be champion in, in two years. If uh, if you had it your way, whether it's 26 or 30, which of the champions uh, would you like to fight? You said from 26 to 30? Yeah, because cause you, don't, you don't really know if you're going to fight for a title at 30 or 26, but if you had it your way, who, who's the guy you think you want to fight the most for a title? It's hard to say because guys are coming in and out. You know, there'll be a new champion yeah. next week. I got you. Because so, like right now we got like uh, Ray Vargas, Nick Ball, yeah, Angelo Leo. He just became champion at 26. Yeah, yeah. So Espinosa. I, I can't really say who. Yeah. I, you know, I can't really tell, but... <laughs> uh, if the opportunity shows itself at 126, I'll definitely go down to 126. If not 130, you know, I'm ready for the opportunity when it comes. So I'll be ready for it. Okay. Um, you know, I'll pick your brain about some boxing. Uh, you got any? You got any fighters that you're a fan of, like apart from Canelo or Inoue? Yeah, well, Canelo, of course. Uh, I like Pernell Whitaker. It's nice. Tank is. Good. I like Tank. Tank. Uh, who else? I think. I think that's like mainly the guys oh, yeah. that I be watching. Boots too. I like boots. boots. You like boots? So skillful softball, that's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. your thing. You know, and he got some power in him, so I like him. What, what do you think about uh, Tank Shakur if they ever fought? Uh, that's a hard fight. I think that's a hard fight. I think if we go to distance, I think Shakur could, 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 be, could win. I think, like, but, you know, Tank, you got to always be on the lookout for Tank because Tank got that, you know, one, one, that whole run, so... It, it, it'll go either way. I can't really say. It's a pick and fight. So yeah. two pick and fight. It's a 50-50 fight. Well, you know what? One, one thing that'd be good, good to get your thoughts on is, uh, you know, what you've been there with in a way and whatnot. Uh, who do you think from like around like 122, 126? Who, who do you think is the toughest fight? For anyway. In a way. Uh, I don't even. I don't even. Anyway, could go to 130 if you wanted to. You think so? Yeah. He's that nice. So, I think that's what I think. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the quickness and the athleticism yeah. and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, you know what? What's what? what what do you think is the biggest difference between like uh, um, training in America, like the way we train here versus Japan? Is there any difference in the training methods from what you've seen? Maybe the language. That's language about is about it? it. Is it it's about still boxing? It's still boxing. You know, they all train differently. You know, they got different routines and schedules. But other than that, it's the language. Okay. You know, the guys are hungry out there too, though. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of good guys out there in Japan. Too. Did you learn any Japanese while you were there? I did, actually. Yeah, yeah. What can you say in Japanese? Hajime uh, Mashite. What does that mean? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. All right. All right, Jonathan. Well, uh, any, any final message to the box world about your fight? Uh, well, I hope everyone can watch the fight on Amazon Prime Video. I'll be the first fighter uh, to come out. People come out that night on Saturday. And I want to thank all my people that support me, all the people that's going to be there. I love you guys, and this is always for you. All right. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. I'm at the Boxing Hall of Fame out here in Canada, in New York. And for more great boxing content just like this video, make sure you click and subscribe right over here.